Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 10 of the Getting Started with Motion Graphics course here for Tuts Plus. My name is Vincent Nguyen, and today we're going to be taking a look at the lens flare effect within After Effects. Now let's just take a look at what we're going to be creating today in this particular lesson. Now I have a second style ready here. And this is pretty similar, but a little more dynamic. So just another fast action pack way to kind of reveal the text a little bit. Just to give you some brief ideas on how you use lens flares. And before we start, I just want to inform you that the default lens flare within After Effects is very, very crummy and very basic. Now, don't worry. In a future lesson, we're going to be talking about a more advanced approach to lens flares where we're going to be building more powerful lens flares with more customization options as well as um, kind of enhancing the look of the default lens flare. It kind of looks very crummy here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create a new composition. So composition, new composition, and we'll call this flares. And 10 seconds long is okay. Hit okay. So now we have our composition here. Let's go ahead and create a background layer. Call it BG and we'll make it black. And now let's go ahead and create our text layer. So hit control, alt, shift, T, or command, option, shift, T to bring up the new text tool. And just go ahead and type in your text. I'm going to type in welcome. And I'm going to center this thing up uh, by going to the align panel here and just centering th things up. So we just have our basic text. And uh, just for the sake of style, we're going to add a nice ramp to this. And kind of give it um, kind of a chrome metal look. We're going to flip the start color from black to white and white to black. And then we're just going to adjust these points a little bit just so we have some variation in color. And it kind of looks like we're creating a trailer and I guess we kind of are. So now that we have our text set up, let's go ahead and set up the lens flare. Now I'm going to create a brand new solid for this lens flare. We're going to call this lens flare and you want to make sure that the color is set to black and you'll see why in a second. So make sure it's set to black. This is kind of a huge limitation with the default lens flare within After Effects. So we have a black uh, lens flare layer. Let's go ahead and drag in the lens flare effect into the uh, lens flare layer. Notice how it's an only an 8 bit uh, plugin so you know you won't be getting those vibrant colors you can't go 16 bits and such like that it's very limited and it hasn't really been updated for a very very long time and you only have three types of lens flares so I'm gonna stick with the 105 millimeter prime lens flare just because it looks the best in my opinion and as you can see we have very very few parameters uh, we have just the flare brightness lens type the blend with the original as well as the flare center, which is kind of the position of the lens flare. So very, very basic. Now in a future lesson, we will also be talking about third-party plugins to achieve better lens flares, such as No Light Factory and Optical Flare. So uh, don't sweat about that. So this is the default lens flare within After Effects. Let's go ahead and start enhancing this thing just a little bit. Uh, first of all, we're going to apply a curves effect to the lens flares. And I highly, highly recommend always applying a curves effect or some kind of color correction effect to the default lens flare because as you can see, we can't really adjust the color in this particular plugin. So let's go to the red channel. Let's go ahead and create a blue kind of flare. So I'm going to decrease the reds. We're going to increase the blues. And already you have this nice blue lens flare. And of course, you can apply your contrast boost and stuff like that with the RGB channel. So right now, we have our lens flare. Unfortunately, we can't see our text. And that's because the lens flare does not generate an alpha channel. So we kind of need to fake that alpha or fake that transparency. So we need to blend our lens flare in. And for this particular example, I'm going to use the screen blending modes. So now it kind of just screens the black and gets rid of the black and just leaves the lens flare remaining so we can see our text. But additionally, you can use the add blending mode as well. And we'll be discussing the difference between add and screen in the future tutorial. But for this demonstration, we'll be using screen just because it blends a little bit nicer in this particular demonstration. And then we're going to duplicate this lens flare layer, control command D, and we'll just move it to the right side. And then we can reset the curves and we can make this a red flare. So just pull up the reds. 
decrease the blues and play around with the green so get something like that and then we can apply another contrast boost As you can see, we created two separate lens flares here. So let's go ahead and start animating and creating the first scene here. So this is just some simple opacity uh, keyframes. So we're going to kind of adjust the position a little bit, maybe like that. And then we can start animating this thing. So let's select our lens flare here, uh, hit a keyframe for flare brightness, as well as for the second one. And then we can hit U on the keyboard to show all the keyframes or parameters for the lens flare. And then we can just change the default value to zero, zero. So we start with nothing. And then as time progresses, we're going to pull up the brightness pretty high. So that it's going to hide pretty much our text. So you kind of want to blow it out just a little bit. around there and then we can move forward and then we can hit a keyframe for both lens flares so they stay the same and then it's going to fade out so back to maybe 100% here and 120% here so what we have is a simple flash so as you can see once our animation is done our lens flare is just kind of staying static it's not really flickering it's not really moving it's just staying still and that's a really huge problem. Um, you can animate the flare brightness manually in this particular case. But again, like I said in a future tutorial, I will be taking a look at how to kind of uh, add some more features to this lens flare and how to add some nice flickering options to this. But for this demonstration, we'll just leave it as is. But if you want to add some flicker, you could manually do it using keyframes. So now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and uh, trim down our text a little bit. So right here, we don't want any text until it finishes flashing about right here. So we're going to trim our text down. So we have no text here. And then once the initial flash burst, you're going to see our text. Me right here. So if I just trim this down a little bit and trim comp to work area. So that's just a really quick and easy way to kind of reveal your text or your logo using lens flares. A lot of times in motion graphics, we use lens flares to kind of reveal something or kind of add some ambient lighting. We're not really trying to make it obvious, but in this demonstration, it's just to reveal our text or our logo. So just a quick way to take a look at it. Um, we can actually create the second scene very easily by creating another new composition. Call this flares two. And we're just going to copy all of the keyframes and all the layers and all that stuff into our second composition here. So this is the exact same animation as before. I'm going to trim it down a little bit. We're going to zoom in here. And we're just going to adjust some of this stuff. So in this second demonstration, we have our flares actually moving. And this is going to give some more variation and dynamicness to our animation here. But essentially, it's the same thing. So rather than our lens flare just staying stale and fading in, we're going to animate the position as well. So click on the lens flare and hit a keyframe stopwatch for the flare center. And do the same for the second one. And then we're going to hit U on the keyboard to show all the parameters. And then, you know, we're going to start the opposite side. So originally, this lens flare right here starts on the left side. So we're going to move it to the right side. And then we're going to move this lens flare on the right side to the left side. So we're kind of just reversing things. And then we're going to move forward for the initial blast. And then we're going to move it back into position. So it was right here. And this is right here. So you're going to get this interesting transition here. So it's looking kind of dynamic, except we can make it even more dynamic by offsetting the time. And I really want to emphasize that you can actually add a lot of variation to your motion graphics by just simply delaying it or delaying the time or extending the time and just play around with the offset a little bit. So we can actually uh, just extend this a little bit and we can actually just shift these keyframes over a little bit. So the blue ones kind of happen first and then the red one later. 
and it's just going to all come in together and create our text. And of course, we can easy ease these keyframes as they're coming to place here. So right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or hit F9. So before we end this lesson, let's go ahead and apply an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer. And we're going to call this CC for color correction. And again, you always want to color correct your animation uh, once you're finished with it because, you know, we really are not going to get perfect color from the start. We're always going to, need to adjust the colors. So we're going to apply contrast boost and that should be uh, sufficient for this particular animation. That, nothing too complicated here. And if you want to create that quick letterboxing, let's go ahead and create a black solid. We're going to call this letterboxing. And then turn on the title save and then get the rectangle mask tool here and go ahead and draw a quick even mask on the black letter boxing layer and then we're going to set the mask one to subtract which is going to subtract the black solid with our mask layer and just like that you created your quick manual letter boxing so now let's do a quick ram preview So just a really basic animation to kind of get you guys started using lens flares in your animation and your projects. In the next video tutorial, we will be taking a look at advanced lens flares where we're going to be adding more controls to it, more options to it. We're going to be taking a look at some basic expressions to kind of add more controls to the lens flare. And you know, we're really going to be enhancing and spicing up the lens flare so much that, you know, the default lens flare won't look as bad. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the forums. I will get to them as soon as I can. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. My name is Vincent Nguyen, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye, guys.